what's up guys today i will be working on my 36 inch bradley stand on mower uh, what i will be showing you is how to plug your tire if you're not ready to buy a new one or if in my particular case i'll be buying the uh twill wheels pretty soon so i don't want to buy another tire and then end up having to buy those as well so i'm just going to show you guys how to plug this tire real quick save you a little bit of money uh here we go so what i have here is just soap and water um learn this little trick from the guys at the tire shop and what that'll do is um once the soap and the water hits the hole you'll see the air bubbles like you see right there at the top of the screen there you see me just wipe um that's a hole right there so the soap and water just helps you identify where the holes are um, as you'll see in this video, I, I can't find my tire chocks, so I can't mark them. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll find them and I'll repair them kind of as I go instead of, uh, marking them and then going back. So this will allow me to just be able to do it a lot quicker than, um, having to, you know, find the holes more than once. Um, once you identify where the hole is, you want to put this tire puncture tool in there, uh, to make sure it punctures all the way through, take that tire plug. Press it through, pull it right out just like that. Maybe you got to give it a little twist a little bit. And then a the little leftover plug piece you have there. Before you cut it, what you want to do is add some water to it again. Make sure there's no holes in there. Uh, there's, there's no longer a hole there. Cut the excess piece. Throw a little bit more water and soap on there. Make sure it doesn't bubble up again. And just repeat the process. This particular tire had a lot more holes in it than I actually thought. Uh, I think I ended up with maybe five or six holes in this particular tire, which is, I mean, way more than it should have had. But, you know, it, it actually, it, you know, since it did, I just went ahead and uh, for the sake of the video, just, you know, repaired all of the all of the holes. But I really need to get some tires really, really soon. But, you know, they'll work for right now. Like I said, I'm in the process of. Uh, Changing out all four of my wheels to the twill, no flat tires. Um, they're pretty expensive, so uh, probably take me a little bit of time to get them all. But once I get them all, I'll switch them all out and put them on. <clears throat> and I won't have to worry about, uh, excuse me, I won't even have to worry about fixing flats anymore. But this is a this is a cheap, quick, uh, efficient DIY uh, project that you can do to save some money and, you know, keep rolling my tire was flat every morning when i came out and i got kind of tired of airing it up i got a compressor and an air pump and all of that but i just got sick of airing it up every day so i just figured hey why not fix it real quick and get it out of the way and then you know shoot a video and hopefully help somebody who uh, who may be having the same exact problem you know tired of airing up the tire every day or maybe don't have the money to go buy new tires this is something that you can do to save yourself a little bit of time but i, I or money time and money but I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend that you get a tire uh, or tires, whatever the case may be, ASAP. This is just a temporary fix. So it's not something you want to hang on to and continue to ride this way. But it does allow you to get back out to work uh, as soon as possible and uh, uh, give you a little bit more time to save, save up some money or, you know, make whatever decisions you're going to make concerning that. So I also forgot to record the portion of me putting the the plug through the uh, puncture tool to show you how to how to load the tool um, as you'll see coming up here I actually forgot to load the tool up myself so I gotta I gotta leave the uh, the tool in the tire while I uh, slide that well like some people call it a little bacon strip or whatever slide the bacon strip which is the plug through the uh, the fork there to get it through the tire. And as you can see, I'm, I'm having a little, it's, it's a little cold outside. So I'm having a little bit of issue with the plug, um, actually coming off of the fork there, but something that you can do is, um, if it's a little warmer outside, or if you take a lighter and light that thing up, be careful for sure, because it will, uh, hold on to the flame. So, but just light it and make it a little more, uh, that little rubber piece, make it a little looser. 
and it won't be so difficult to come off of the uh, the fork once you puncture it through the tire and pull it back out. So just another little little tip trick that I learned from the guys at the tire shop. Shout out to all the guys out there who fix tires. Appreciate you guys, man. So once again, guys, this is definitely something that anybody can do. You can do it on your days off. You can do it right at the job site. Really simple process, man. Saves you a lot of money. Saves you a lot of time. You don't have to take your uh, mower to the shop to have it done. You can do it yourself, man, uh, which is perfect. So hopefully this video helped you guys, man. Make sure to like. Hit that subscribe button, man. We appreciate all of you guys checking in on our videos. Take care, man. Peace. Dude, Turbo Cuts is so cool.